Snails that are typically foods for fish is disappearing. As a result, the fish do not have food supply and the fishermen afraid that they will lose the fish. Trees and mangrove ecosystem is a shelter for bees. By cutting down trees, bees lose their shelter and might be migrated to other ecosystems to create beehives. Mangrove forest is very important because their deep roots help bind and build soils. It also can produce massive amounts of carbon dioxide and provide habitat and refuge to a wide array of wildlife such as birds, fur, fish, and invertebrates. The shrimp farming is the greatest threat to the world's mangrove forest. The effect of shrimp farming will destroy the mangrove ecosystem. The shrimp farming use vast amount of seawater and freshwater, as well as chemicals to maintain their farm. This entails that the trees are cut off from freshwater supplies and will surely die. Not just that, the chemicals and organic waste are released into the coastal water, contaminating it. Because of that, the aquatic wildlife population will be affected. The mangrove forest is cleared for agriculture purposes. Same as shrimp from the surface runoff containing chemicals and fertilizer will pollute the mangrove ecosystem water supply. Next is the coastal development. Port or docks are built near the coastal water of the mangrove forest. The infrastructure and building impedes the growth of the trees and affect the natural flow of water. Also, the presence of people and tourists will increase in the area in which it will invite more waste and pollution that will damage the mangrove e coastal ecosystem. Finally, the charcoal and the lumber industry extensively harvest trees from the mangrove forest. People driven by greed will take advantage of it and actively chop down the mangroves until it is no more. The abiotic factors will lose its habitat. The land clearing activity can be considered as an act of urbanization. It can pass as a threat towards any species living in that particular ecosystem. And in this case, leading towards an extinction of species living in the mangrove system. The impacts of human activities such as land clearing can destroy the species' habitats. This can cause a decrease in the numbers of the native aquatic wildlife population, insects and birds, as they have no place to live and thrive. Besides that, it also can affect the fishing community and many people who make their source of income from natural sources. As more building was created, the potential for pollution and waste to be dumped into the river can cause water contamination and make marine animals toxic. Thank you. Other human activities that can be seen on the mangrove ecosystem at Sungai Dinding Kampung Baru Setiawan would be deforestation of trees in the mangrove ecosystem. This threatens the health of coral reefs living in the area and increases levels of nitrate that will lead to fish poisoning and inhibiting the ability to reproduce. Nitrate can be considered as harmful towards aquatic life if levels of nitrate spikes too high than the supposed average nitrate level. I'm going to talk about the importance of mangrove ecosystem to the local community. First and foremost, mangrove trees play a pivotal role in reducing the greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, leading to the reduce of heat around the local community. They have an enormous capacity for sucking up the carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, thus trap them in the flooded soils for millennia. Next, mangroves can provide clean water source for the community. Their dense network of of root filter and trap sediment. This causes the dirt and sediments are not able to move around, thus help the water becomes cleared. Moreover, mangrove ecosystem can also provide food source as they act as a breeding ground for fish. They act as a nursery and shelter protection for the baby fish from predation. Now, we will talk about what happens when there is a lot of food resources available for them obviously making income so that they can buy other things that they need. The local community will become a fisherman and they will focus on the seaside which is nearby the mangrove ecosystem. This slide shown that honey is actually an income for the local community as well. Bees prefer to hive on the trees. Whenever the people want to collect some honey to sell, they can have it there. Finally, mangroves actually protect the local community from increased storm surge, flooding and hurricanes. They are the first line of defense for the coastal communities. They stabilize the shorelines by slowing down the erosion and acting as a natural barrier for the community. To sum up everything, the importance of mangrove ecosystem to the local community includes reducing the greenhouse gas from the atmosphere, providing clean water, food resources, source of income, and protection to the local community. Mangroves are important for their survival. Thank you. So, how are we going to overcome the threats to mangrove ecosystem? 
referring to the threats listed in the slide above, first thing first we can do is afforestation. So what is afforestation? Afforestation is an act of planting seeds or tree into the soil. In this context, we can plant young mangrove trees in a new land and let it grow into a forest. By doing so, we can help to avoid the extinction of mangrove ecosystem and its forest. Other than that, legislation can be made so that the community will abide to the laws created. For example, shrimp farming must be controlled to protect the mangrove ecosystem or coastal development can be done only if it is not damaging the mangrove forest. The mangrove forest must be monitored to make sure that the citizen living near does not exploiting it to their likes. Last but not least, mangrove forests must need protection so that the ecosystem can be conserved. There are a few organiza organizations taking action by making a mangrove forest park or reserve development to help protecting it.